Well, uh, most of us can only try to imagine what Gabrielle Giffords went through on Saturday afternoon, but our next guest actually knows what it's like to face the gun of an angry citizen. In 1997, Mary Rose Wilcox was on the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors in Arizona when she was shot. And she is now the county supervisor after recovering fully and joins us uh, from Phoenix. Uh, Mary Rose, thanks, thanks for being with us. H how well do you know Congresswoman Giffords? And, and what, was, what went through your mind when you heard of her shooting? Well, I was just shocked. And, you know, we went through a really hard day Saturday. Um, both what happened to Gabby. Gabby is beloved. Uh, she's a very good congresswoman, a young woman coming up, uh, very well liked. Uh, she took strong issues. Um, I got to know her quite well during the Democratic Convention in Colorado, and I just really admired her. Every time she saw me in Washington or I saw her here, uh, just full of enthusiasm. So our heart goes out to her and all of the people who were murdered and those who are recovering right now and their families. Uh, a lot went through our minds, and, you know, it was a very hard day. It, it is, and hopefully there will be better days ahead if, if the doctor's optimism mm -hmm. is any indication. But we obviously wanted to talk to you in relation to your story. So sure. uh, briefly tell us, you were shot by a man who was angry over a tax increase, I understand, to build a new baseball stadium uh, there in Phoenix. Yes. Uh, he hit you where? Uh, where in your body? Uh, what happened is uh, I was leaving our meeting, and a man crossed in front of me. And I knew by the look on his face, we had no security at that time, and he was carrying a paper bag. I knew by the look on his face that he, I thought he was going to hit me. He was so angry. But he came around. He put the gun right in the middle of my back. And fortunately for me, a security guard and my movement deflected the gun, but it went off at the top of my hip and went straight through my leg. Um, it was a 385 Magnum, very large gun, hollow point, and it was devastating. Uh, not only for myself, but for all of the people who were there and our families. So I, when I heard about Gabby, um, I knew a little bit about what some of the families would go through, what Gabby herself would go through, and thank God she survived it. You know, we pray for her right now. Yeah. But it is devastating. And what was the hardest thing is during the trial where this man was convicted and uh, has spent many years in a correction facility, he basically said, I listened to talk radio, and talk radio very clearly said that she should be taken out. That's me. I should be taken out because of my tax vote. And that rhetoric uh, needs to stop. You know, we in Arizona don't need to hear that. And that was in 1997. And since then, I think particularly with the immigration issue and the health issue uh, that surfaced this year, uh, national health care, uh, the rhetoric has gotten horrible here. You think it's worse in Arizona than it is uh, around the country? Or, and, and what do you make of the fact that this man, this shooter, in this case, it looks like he wasn't particularly politically motivated, an independent voter who didn't even vote in the last election? Um, mm -hmm. How do you come down on this whole debate that we're having now about our political climate? Well, I really feel that um, it is worse here in Arizona, but the rest of the country um, is getting very bad also. I really think that this young man was probably unhinged, you know, obviously from what the uh, YouTube and everything else that we're seeing now from the investigation, um, I think he was a little bit off. But the fact of the matter is, is that here in Arizona with the uh, climate of hate, the putting targets on people, saying that they should be taken out, uh, instead of discussing issues, you do ad hominem attacks on people who support a certain side of an issue. Uh, it, it's terrible. I've heard people yell at me, go back to Mexico if you support immigration. Um, you should be taken out. You know, and I'm sure Gabby heard a lot of the same things on her strong stances. So I think what happened is the environment we created was a spark in this young man's mind. Uh, we'll never know unless he says, but um, I do feel that people who are a little bit over the edge, um, and obviously loners, maybe people who are mentally ill and not getting help, this could set them off. So these environments do not help anybody, and the rhetoric has to stop. You know, I challenge other elected officials and people of responsibility to join me in making sure that we don't have these vicious attacks anymore um, on people who are just trying to bring a viewpoint across. Supervisor Wilcox, we appreciate you sharing some time and ideas with us tonight. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.
Well, that is it for all of us here at ABCnews.com. Of course, you can stay tuned for uh, Nightline tonight, the mugshot of that uh, suspected shooter, just one clue into his psyche. So tonight, we will go back through his life, his family, all those bizarre red flags we just talked about that led to six murders. And of course, you can follow this developing story on ABCnews.com, on our Facebook page. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you on Nightline.